good Friday morning. The birds are chirping. Squirrels are wreaking havoc. Now I'm going to eat my breakfast. Banana nut muffin. Sun tea. Unsweet. No sugar in there. Supposed to be 77 today. And we got rain rolling in around 4 or 5 o'clock. So, got to get some stuff done. Hello, people. Say hello to the people. So, I did a uh, few towers. That's empty. What happened? Um, yesterday, did that stack there. Oh, so what is that? 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 20, 3, 6, 28. I did 30 yesterday. Screwing around. Got some more of these. Um, I must say, I did these yesterday. Well, except for those two green ones. So I did one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yesterday, um, <clears throat> hardly took me any time. This idea right here works perfect. Works perfect. Um, I'm all tangled up. Oh, crap here. What the hell? <clears throat> so what I'm going to do since Mr. Uh, Big Country Scrapper said you should do motors. I don't have a junior to do my work for me, though. That's the problem. You know? Don't they have child labor laws in Canada? I don't know. Asking for a friend. So, yeah, once you, you know, take the top off with a crown, um, all you have to do is just take it like this put it on there and as it's vibrating it, it'll, it'll pull it up and then when you get up so far then you can go this way with it and get it in between there and it'll peel it right off so that works awesome 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 so right now um here's what i'm working with i got all those motherboards just gotta clean them get the memory and cpus and crap off of them so this bucket right here is filled up. 36 pounds at today's price, uh, it's $102 in just that bucket there. So um, surprisingly, it adds up quick. And you figure a pound and a half to over two pounds of a motor. So today I'm going to start this one. <coughs> And see what happens so my plan today is to knock out some more of these um, and then around noon or so I'll tink tinker with them motors so PCI cards so gotta take the brackets off of those they're just cool power supply you talk about neon orange or uh, blue Ask my neighbor if he wanted it, he told me no. Got a little fan control on the back. Pretty neat. Um, I don't know how many what we got here. Uh, what is it, 600 what? 680 watts. Aluminum something. Aluminum casting, triple fans, ultra silent, super cooling fan adapter. I wonder if it works. <coughs> Probably does work. Power supplies usually don't go bad. I don't think I have a uh, power cord though. Oh, uh, we got hanging there. Now those are all printer cords. No power cord. Oh, speaking of power cords, I had a bunch of cords laying on the bench and I cut them all up. One of them went to my scale. Thank God that the scale also runs off of a battery. So 
Only me. I did that on a battery charger one time too. My neighbor that used to live here um, had to fix it for me. So instead of having a regular length cord, when he got done, I had like a 12 foot power cord. <laughs> so, oh, and in yesterday's computer taking a party, taking a parts thing, I got a, a black fiber. And I got a black fiber. And I got a ceramic. 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 K6. So, four ceramics, two black fibers so far. <coughs> so, that was pretty good. Got a couple more beige ones here, so we'll see um, what's in those. I know one of them has a slot processor in it because I saw it. And. Um, I was going to go to the scrapyard on Monday, but that got changed. Um, my buddy that helps me, his ex-mother-in-law passed away uh, last week, so they're having a memorial for her on Monday, so he's going to go to that, which I find unacceptable because I should come first. He didn't even like the lady. He told me that. So, <laughs> anyway. And then I have this one here. My uh, computer store usually buys these off of me, even though it's an i3. Um, just the kind of stuff he deals with. So, <clears throat> you know, whatever he gives me for it, I um, don't care. As long as I make a couple dollars on it. He usually pays about $20, $25 a piece for him. So, yes, yeah, so I like to get this pile done and get this pile done today. <clears throat> and then I want to... Get back and get the batteries out of those uh, power supplies. Uh, get those done. And then I'll just take them uh, <coughs> Tuesday when I go. <coughs> oh. And I was looking to see what breakage, breakage was um, when I went to the scrapyard the other day. So I looked on the receipt. And my breakage wasn't on there that I took. I got a hold of my yard manager and I said... Uh, you remember how much breakage I had. Um, so I put it all in a, a different bin. Because they were so busy and jacked up over there. So my yard manager was actually the one that picked it up and weighed it. So he said it was like 303 pounds. Um, it's like 18 cents a pound. So they owe me $54. So he said, oh, your ticket will be sitting here when you get here. Said, all right. Thank you very much. Like I said, it wasn't even on uh, my ticket, so. <clears throat> but I figure for 18 cents a pound for uh, power supplies, uh, board store pays 20, but like I said, they take up a lot of room, and for two cents difference, I'll just dump them here. Uh, and they're paying 90 cents a pound for the wire. So I guess that's a win-win. Fly. See if I can get him. Nope, missed. I tried my hardest. <coughs> and my hard drive pile is getting bigger. Um, that guy that I told you my yard manager referred uh, me to, uh, he never called me back. He gave me a price. I agreed to it. He gave me the address. He said, I'll let you know when the stuff will be there. So I told him yesterday, you know, give me a, at least a 24-hour notice. Um, you know, I just can't drop what I'm doing. Because my helper who drives the van, um, if I don't get a hold of him the day before, then, you know, first thing in the morning he wakes up and he's smoking weed. So, you know. And, you know, he's responsible. If he knows something has to be done, he won't do nothing. But um, i got to give him a 24-hour weed notice. Van is empty. I don't think I have anything else going until next week. So I'm going to probably start loading this stuff up as I take it apart. Um, probably get those doors out of here this weekend. 
And uh, tonight, I think me and my neighbor are going to go over and get that that scooter from my neighbor behind us. Uh, it wasn't so damn heavy, we just throw it over the fence, but I think it's going to be too heavy to lift over the fence. But if I see him out here today, I'll let him know. And I'm throwing away this uh, ancient ass hole digger too. Get this out of my way. But I would like to get a lot of these motors done today. <clears throat> and then uh, maybe next week uh, get down to the scrapyard and uh, buy a few and see how I end up. <laughs> see how I end up. So, I guess that's about it. I'm going to get to work, get some stuff done. Uh, get my day started. It's uh, already like 10 o'clock. Yeah. 9.58 and 59 degrees. <clears throat> and, uh, oh, come on here. Let's see what we got. And, uh, yeah, that's it. So, I'll talk to y'all later. I was thought about live stream, but I just have way too much I want to get done today. So, not going to happen, Chris. So, hopefully you went to work. He said he was going to take the day off if I live streamed. Well, sucks to be you, buddy. Get your ass to work. So, I appreciate y'all. I will talk to you all later. Um, I'll probably see you guys Sunday on Scrapping Irish's live, if he goes live. Um, and until then, have a good weekend, and I will talk to y'all later.